Well, you can find lots of developers at startups and uh, universities and big companies. I guess the, the big question is where can I find a developer that will quit their life and join my startup, right? Or where can I find a developer who's available or who's available and good and wants to work for free uh, until we get our startup off the ground? Um, you know, those are usually sort of the deeper question. Um, you know, I can only tell you from our experience where we've found our developers uh, initially. So Dave, uh, you know, I found him through Hacker News. We started working on things. He wanted to start a company. We became friends. He was working on other things. I was working on other things. When this uh, contently materialized, basically it was a matter of getting him to buy into the opportunity and the vision. Um, so that's how, you know, our CTO and co-founder came about. How we found the next few developers for our company uh, so Dave knew people from undergrad uh, who were working at uh, consulting companies. So, you know, these giant um, firms, basically crews of developers that go in and, and build software for, for big companies. Um, in a lot of cases, those places have people who've been there for a long time. They get recruited out of college, get paid very, very well. They're really good uh, at, at uh, programming. Um, but in a lot of cases, they get kind of burnt out on working for corporate clients. Um, and because they're... Uh, sort of a, a development shop or a consulting, at a consulting shop, they move from project to project, and so they get a little bit of a taste of what it's like to, uh, to work at a startup. Uh, but in a lot of cases, they're very unhappy with sort of the, the corporate environment, at least the certain, the right kind of developer that you want for a startup. So we found two people from, uh, so through Dave's uh, undergrad connections, a uh, fantastic developer that he knew was working at a consulting company, was getting tired, we recruited him, basically stolen from them. And he had a friend who was at another branch of that same company who was getting tired, who was thinking about quitting, so we hired him when he quit. Um, then, you know, our other developers and other sort of product talent we found, we actually have looked, uh, so we're in New York City. I don't know how many of you are in big areas like New York or San Francisco where there's sort of this arms race for development talent, uh, but we actually started posting job uh, postings in other cities outside of New York. So in South Carolina and Minnesota and uh, Chicago and places where we assumed that uh, people might want to, uh, might aspire to move to New York. And so basically we, we posted uh, job listings, you know, if you're willing to move to New York and we'll relocate you, uh, you know, we are looking for developers. And so basically then what, what you do is you try them out remotely. Um, for a few weeks, so you, you hire someone as a, as a freelancer or contractor for a week, at the end of the week you evaluate, you do that again for a couple weeks, then you fly them out for, uh, to spend a week in the office, and then eventually you move them out there. Uh, we found that to be easier, uh, to be honest, than trying to recruit inside New York City where everyone is looking for developers. Um, so that would be sort of based on my experience, uh, my advice for finding a developer. Now finding a developer who's good and figuring out that they're good uh, is another challenge. You have to know your stuff. You have to have someone on your team who can evaluate a developer, but you really need to work with them uh, for at least you know a few weeks before you can really see if there's someone uh, who can hang in a startup environment uh, on your dev team.